Hello guys, welcome back. Today I was just going to share a couple of trash to treasures, like truly trash to treasure. I went um, with my husband over the weekend to check out the bulk um, item pickup in the area here in our city. And I found a box of treasures, what well, I consider treasures. Um, I found this little sculpture. Um, it had a broken head, but I ended up doing something with it. Um, you will see soon. And then I picked up this set of, I guess, Hollywood Regency little vanity set. The glass was broken out of this one, but I feel like it is still cute. It is not trash. We will find something to do with it. Um, I also found the mirror and the brush, but the brush was missing and the mirror was broken. But I still end up doing something with them. There's something to do with everything, right, guys? I mean, nothing is trash. I also picked up these vintage matches, like, packages, which I don't even know if these are a thing still, but I picked them up. If I don't do anything with them, I can just toss them out. Then I also picked up this ashtray. Um, I don't smoke or... This usually comes in a set, and since I just found one, I'm just going to create a little riser with it. Um, and I also found this little tray with this little, I'm assuming like little shot cups. I'm not sure what its purpose is for, but I picked it up anyways. And then I also picked up this little frame with like dried out flowers. I end up not doing anything with this. I just end up hanging it in my craft room. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and flip some, and then I'm going to also do a couple thrift flips. So with this little trinket, I didn't really do anything major. All I do was wrap some lace around it, tie a little cute bow. I ended up putting some greenery into it, but I didn't glue anything in in case, you know, somebody wants to change it out. When I staged it, I did it with some vintage gloves that I found at the bins. Just like hanging out of the little trinket box. So I just want to leave the option open in case someone wants to fill it with something else. Um, I will sell it in a set in my booth. So I just didn't want to glue anything in. Next up is the mirror. Um, I just ended up taking out the cardboard that was in between the back and the mirror just to use it to trace it out on a piece of cardboard. So when I cut it out and put it into my mirror just to test it out, I, it still felt like there was like a little space in between. Um, so I'm going to add another piece of cardboard in between the cardboard and the front just so it doesn't push through and it has a little bit more stability. So I'm gonna cover my cardboard here with this fabric that I had left over. It was actually a dress that I had cut up for a project during Christmas. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue it to my cardboard. Now I did use hot glue for this one, but I ended, I ended up having a hard spot like where the glue came through. So for my second, for the brush, I ended up not using hot glue. So I do plan on putting some molds on this fabric. I didn't want the fabric to move. So I'm also going to add some Mod Podge on my cardboard so I can adhere the fabric down to my cardboard. And then once I cut my excess fabric off, I go around the fabric and just cut little slits. Just so when I glue it down to the cardboard, I don't have any um, wrinkles showing through the front. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the cardboard back into the mirror. Um, it was a little bit difficult, but once you get one side in, it goes in fairly easy. Um, the only thing is you can't push too hard because then um, it leaves like a little 
like a little hole it kind of bends the cardboard I guess so I use this little tool just to kind of push it in there just to make sure that it is under the little groove where the mirror used to sit and to cover the back I'm gonna go ahead and trace out the cardboard again from the mirror and I'm gonna go ahead and decoupage this napkin onto the back of my mirror so I'm going to start by putting a thin layer of Mod Podge. Then I will go ahead and place my napkin right over that. I did get some of the napkin sticking to the sides of my mirror, but I just went ahead and sanded that off. And here I'm just going to use a plastic bag just to smooth out some of the wrinkles. Um, but I am okay with some wrinkles. I don't need it to be completely perfect. Then using my little tool here, I'm going to go ahead and push the excess napkin right underneath the frame where the mirror used to sit. Then I am going to add this mold from the IOD um, molds. I think it's Cameos. I already had this one done, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down to the top of my fabric. So I am going to add some of this Gorilla Glue uh, for a more permanent hold. And then I'm going to use hot glue just for, in the meanwhile, the permanent glue adheres. So then just to add a little detail, I'm going to go ahead and add these little pearls to the outside of my mold. And I am going to glue them down with some E6000. Um, from a, It's like the jewelry kind. It dries a lot faster than the regular one. Then just to take it a little step further, I'm going to go ahead and use this chain that I picked up from the jewelry section at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's usually like $12.99, but I got it when it was 50% off. So while this one dries, I'm going to go ahead and start the brush. It's basically the same exact process. I take out the cardboard and trace it out. Um, the only difference is I didn't glue the fabric with this one at all with hot glue. I actually used Mod Podge just so I don't get that rough spot that I got with the other one.
So I already had this mold done. It's from the Cameos mold from ILD. Um, only thing is I had painted it a bit darker gold. So I'm going to go ahead and use this gilding wax from Dixie Belle just to brighten it up so it can show up a bit better against the black fabric that I added to the brush. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and create some little bows. I do cross them, cross the two ends over each other and then just pinch it in the middle. Then tie it up with this black piece of thread. And just add a little pearl right in the center of my bow to cover up the thread. So I did create some little hangers for both. I just used some jewelry wire that I picked up at Walmart. I did two little loops on the bottom added a little bit of the e6000 to the inside of my loops and stick them into the frame right underneath where the mirror used to sit that way in case somebody wants to hang them up they can be hung up and that is basically it for this one i know it was a bit long process but i hope it inspires you to create something beautiful out of something that was going to end up in the trash. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is my favorite one out of all the DIYs I did in this video. Next up, I'm just going to take this ashtray and use the this part of a spindle and I'm just going to go ahead and glue it to the top and just create a little riser. Before I glue that though, I'm going to go ahead and use this paint and just kind of stain the wood just so it can kind of match the bottom of the spindle. So all I'm basically doing is covering the surface with some paint and then getting a damp rag and I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that right off and the wood will be stained with that color paint. And again, I'm going to go ahead and add some of this Gorilla Glue. Um, I do place something heavy on top and then let it sit for 24 hours and it'll be ready to go. So I guess since I didn't do anything to the top, I guess if someone wanted to use it as an ashtray still, they still can. So yeah, that is all I did for this one. Next up, I picked these up at the thrift store. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and give them the concrete look. I'm going to go ahead and use the color mineral from Waverly Chalk Paint. And I did add in some salt wash because I do want to create some texture. So I'm going to start to paint. I am going to do a little bit of stippling and a little bit of brushing. Um, stippling just to create as much texture as I can. This did have like a little bit like glitter or something on it. So I go a little bit heavier on that on those little areas. So once my paint is dry, I am going to do a little bit of dry brushing just to bring out some of that detail. And that is basically it for this one. I am going to give it um, a coat of wax to seal in the paint and we are done. So next up with the sculpture, this one, um, a good friend of mine suggested that I break off the other head. And funny thing is my husband said the same thing. Well, I was kind of questioning like, oh, I don't know, a broken head or whatever. And he's the one that said that, you know, stuff like this is a thing. So when my good friend suggested I break off the other head, I did it. And I went ahead and gave it some sanding around where the I broke off the heads just to make sure that there was no um, rough parts and make it smooth. So this type of stuff is not usually stuff I normally pick up. Um, but I am learning to love this style. Um, and I do see that it's really big in decor too. So. I mean, if I have the chance to pick it up for free and save it and see what I can do to make it work, I'm going to do it. So once it is dry, I am going to go in with the white again, but I'm not doing like a dry brush. It's more of like a stipple. I don't want too much white, um, but I did want to highlight some of the details in my sculpture here. And that is basically it for this one. Um, I do go back in and smooth out the top where I broke the other head off just to make sure and then I repaint it and then it was a lot smoother. Um, once I am done, I am going to add a coat of wax and then I am all done with this. I set it on a, a set of books and I really do love it. I'm not sure if this will leave my house or not, but we shall see. So this next one I picked up at the Goodwill Bins. I'm using the same mineral paint. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a coat of chalk paint. Um, my paint is already getting super thick and dry, so I have to hurry up and use it. So I'm going to go ahead and give this little pot a coat of paint.
Then I'm going to go ahead and use these stamps from IOD Antiquities. And I'm just going to stamp a little something in the front. I'm going to go ahead and use this one just to give it a more aged vintage look. And that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my little trash to treasures that I found. I felt like it was a little box of treasures just waiting for me on the curb. Um, and the two little thrift flips that I did. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe and follow for more. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.